Hi, I'm Magnus and I'm the sales manager at Rust. Rust is an ideal sample roaster for all roasting skill levels. While beginners appreciate its ease of use and full automation, professionals enjoy the wide range of advanced features and flexibility. Today, I'm excited to show you the advanced features of the Rust sample roaster. Let's first talk about automatic roasting. Roasting with the Rust sample roaster is a one-step process. Simply pull the hatch and add the beans to the drum to start roasting coffee. And from this point on, the entire roasting process is automated unless you take over with manual control. The Rust will automatically mark the yellowing event, register the first crack and start the development time countdown. Your roaster will follow the selected profile until the roasting process is complete and the beans are automatically released for cooling. While the roasted beans are being cooled down, the roaster is ready to start the next batch, saving time and allowing for back-to-back -back sample roasting. Adjustments can be made during automatic roasting, such as adjusting development time, RPM motor, airflow, and more. For example, if you see development time is too long, you can press and adjust this value in real time. These changes will not switch the machine into manual roasting mode and can be made during the roasting process. The Rust Sample Roaster is the only roaster in the world that features a first crack detection system. It uses an AI-powered microphone to listen for individual cracks, mark them, and automatically register first crack as it occurs. This technology makes the roaster fully automatic from start to finish. Our goal in developing this feature is to unlock the full potential of your coffee and improve consistency for every batch. First crack detection comes packed with additional settings like the ability to customize the number of cracks that represents the first crack event. Once the first crack is automatically registered, it triggers a countdown timer for development time and finishes the roast. To roast with full manual control, you need to change the target of your profile. We recommend using power profiles for manual roasting. On the web portal, you can select the power profile with starting conditions and import it directly to your roaster. Once you have selected your profile and added beans, you can adjust the power and this will trigger the roaster into manual mode. There are many parameters available for you to adjust before or during the roasting session, directly from the touchscreen of your roaster. Some of them will turn on manual mode, like power input or air temperature, but others will keep automatic mode on, and you can make small tweaks to your profile, such as airflow, RPM, first crack settings, and development time. Once the profile has been created on the web portal and uploaded to your sample roster, you can still make adjustments to it. With the sample roster, you get access to the Rust web portal. After connecting your roaster to Wi-Fi, you can access the web portal with your phone, tablet, or laptop. The main features of the web portal include live view of the roasting session, creation of new profiles, storage and comparison of logs, creation of company sessions of roasted samples, access to a public roasting library, and inventory. We have also created a detailed video about the Rust web portal, and the link is in the description below. Roasting profiles can be created using the Rust web portal that connects directly to your roaster. The web portal allows you to create individual profiles for your roasts and make adjustments to existing profiles to ensure consistency. There are several types of roasting profiles that you can create with the Rust. The most common are air temperature, inlet temperature, and power input. In temperature-based profiles, adjust the RPM of the motor, adjust the airflow, or create temperature curves. In the power profile, you can create curves for the percentage of power input, as well as adjusting the RPM of the motor and airflow. The end condition of your profile can be automated to four different conditions. Total roasting time, reach mean temperature after first crack, development stage set in either time or percentage. The most common end condition is to set the development stage either in a time or a percentage. There are several types of profiles you can create. The three most common are air temperature profile, inlet temperature profile, and power profile. 
We constantly work on other ways to operate the roaster that uses the bean temperature to control the roasting process. The advanced profiles you can create are bean temperature profile, bean temperature versus power input, and bean temperature versus inlet temperature. Each profile type comes with different benefits and usage. Air temperature profile is a consistent and easy way to roast coffee. It's a great starting point for roasting coffee on the rust and also the best option for sample roasting similar coffees batch after batch with high efficiency. The temperature is measured on the inside of the drum and most of the built up thermal heat will be adjusted by the profile during the roasts. Power profile is an easy way to operate the roaster and is a good option for experimenting with coffee. It is also the ideal starting point for manual operation of the roaster. Inlet temperature profile is an improved alternative to power profiles with higher consistency. It measures and adjusts the temperature going into the roasting chamber. An inlet temperature profile doesn't get affected by changes in room temperature or voltage fluctuations. The capacity of the roaster ranges from 50 to 200 grams of coffee. For batches over 120 grams, we recommend using power profiles or inlet temperature profiles. The advantage of bean temperature profile and its hybrids is that it uses the measured bean temperature to control the roasting process. Between batch protocol is used to achieve the highest consistency results when roasting multiple samples of the same coffee. BBP is a thermal reset to the exact same starting conditions as your previous batch. Many roasters follow this protocol manually, which requires full attention. With the Rust, you can create your own BBP profile and let it run automatically between batches. The roaster will let you know when it's ready for the next batch, and this will save time and ensure maximum consistency between batches. The Rust is very easy to maintain. The chaff is collected in the drawer, which needs to be emptied after every 20 roasts. The roaster is designed for easy service and repairs. With our video guides and online assistance, you can fix any potential issues by yourself. We hope that this video has given you a full understanding of the Rust sample roaster. For more information, please go to rustcoffee.com.